Today we're going to hear member statements from the honourable members for the district of uh, Mount Pearl Southland, uh, Conception Bay, East Bell Island, uh, St. Barb, Lanza Meadows, Ferryland and Bonavista. The honourable member for Mount Pearl Southlands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This past week, community leaders and volunteers tuned into the City of Mount Pearl's Facebook page for this year's virtual version of the Best of Mount Pearl Awards. While COVID-19 may have pre prevented us from celebrating in a traditional manner, it in no way took away from the pride we all felt as we listened intently to the amazing contributions of this year's nominees and award recipients. I would like to offer my sincere congratulations to all of this year's nominees and finalists, including the following award winners. Impact in Music, Arts and Culture Award recipient, Christine Hennebery, Environment Award co-recipients, Collision Clinic and the Rotary Club of Waterford Valley, Community Group of the Year, the staff and volunteers at the Parish of the Good Shepherd, Citizen of the Year, Wanda Tiller, and Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Jim Bolger. Thank you all for the contribution that you have all made and will continue to make in our community. While Mount Pearl may be well known for our amazing services, programming, and community infrastructure, it is truly our people that make us great. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable the Member for Conception, East Bell Island. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand today to recognize a young constituent of mine who for most of her life has been a volunteer in many capacities. I speak of Rachel Moss of Portugal Cove St. Phillips, who is a grade 12 student at Prince of Wales Collegiate and who exemplifies the definition of volunteerism. As a member of the Lions Club's LEOs organization, she has taken on many projects that assist LEO clubs internationally. She continues to participate regionally and provincially in public speaking in both official languages, particularly around the issues of murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls. In her spare time, she enjoys tutoring children in French at her local library in reading and writing. Rachel has spoken about volunteerism and philanthropy as a keynote speaker at the Jane Way Foundation's AGM, as well as the LEO's International Virtual Classroom. And she is thrilled to be speaking at the New Voices Virtual Symposium on January 19, 2021. I might note that in 2013, Rachel, along with her sister Julianne, were awarded the Governor General's Caring Canadian Award by then Governor General David Johnson in front of their schoolmates at Beachy Cove Elementary. I ask all members to join me in thanking Rachel and all young volunteers in our province for their service. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable the Member for St. Barb, Lance and Meadows. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, it is my pleasure to recognize Port Schwa's oldest resident, Yvonne Plowman Nee Gool, who on Tuesday, December 8th, celebrated a milestone birthday of 100 years. Mrs. Plowman has experienced so much change in her 100 years, working hard as a homemaker and raising her family. Her son, Ben, is a celebrated and multi-talented folk artist. Mrs. Plowman loved many activities that kept her busy from knitting to playing bingo or having a game of cards. She was a very active member of St. Teresa's Church until she moved into the retirement home. Given the global pandemic, her birthday had to be celebrated differently. With long lineups that were socially distanced, local residents visit with Yvonne through the window at Northern Retirement Home in Port Saunders just to let her know they were there to celebrate with her on her very special day. Mrs. Plowman was dressed to the nines and sliced a large cake with her son at her side. So I ask all honorable members to show our appreciation as we send a celebratory message to Mrs. Yvonne Plowman of Portishwa on the occasion of her 100th birthday. Thank you. The honorable the member for Fairyland. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm delighted for the opportunity to congratulate Clarence and Anne Malloy of Portugal Cove South on their retirement. Malloy's transportation and courier service was in business for 52 years when they retired March 31, 2020. Clarence started the business in the fall of 1967, and at the age of 21, he became known as the friendly, reliable taxi man. Clarence and Anne have worked tirelessly over the years to provide a quality service to their customers on the southern shore. Together, they raised five children and operated a su successful business serving the residents, 
taxi and courier requests from Trapassi to St. John's. For many years, they provided a six-day passenger and courier service Monday to Saturday, leaving their home in Portugal Coast Road at 7.30 a.m., traveling to Trapassi to pick up passengers, and then en route to St. John's and returning every evening, and delivered freight along Route 10 for many years to route St. Mary's Bay. I would also like to congratulate Clarence, who is a member of Town Council in Portugal Coast South for 45 years. I ask all members of this House to join me in congratulating Clarence and Amaloy on their retirement. The Honourable the Member for Bonavista. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It gives me great pleasure to celebrate Javon Marsh of Bonavista on being selected as the 2021 Rhodes Scholar, earning him a prestigious scholarship to the University of Oxford worth more than $100,000 conceivably the first within the district of Bonavista. Only 11 Rhodes Scholars are selected each year from across Canada. This prestigious scholarship does not happen by chance. It only goes to those with intellectual gifts and an exceptional work ethic. Javon, the son of Wayne Fisher and Sharon Marsh, was an honors graduate of Discovery Collegiate in Bonavista in 2014. Javon received the Master of Science degree in Chemistry from Queen's University after completing his undergraduate degree at Memorial. At Oxford, Javon will pursue a Doctorate of Philosophy in Inorganic Chemistry with a focus on the development of potential treatments for children with rare brain cancers. The residents of the District of Bonavista and the province are very proud. I ask the members of the 49th House of Assembly to join me in congratulating Javon Marsh of Bonavista on being a Rhodes Scholar and wish him much, much success as he endeavors to alter the course of rare brain cancers in children. <laughs> 